All right, folks, we are back with another Starbase Summary, December 13th through the 16th. Organized into some topics for you here to see what's going on out at Starbase, kicking it off with some insulated pipe work. You can tell that it's an insulated pipe. You see the, the black sort of areas there. And then when you get to that T, it goes down to just bare looking metal. And then on the ends is what well, you can actually see on the ends, the, the bare metal there. Remember when we see the tank farm in action and those bare parts get frost on it, but the black parts don't get frosty, icy, that sort of stuff? It's because that insulation keeps the atmosphere from freezing to the outside of it. But where you get bare pipe, uh, the coldness, I guess, can go over. Whoa teleporting Cybertruck. The coldness can go right through that bare pipe and freeze the humidity in the atmosphere right onto the outside. So some pipe fitters doing work here, grinding, getting things ready. I think that's what's happening on the far side of the pipe. Yep. Looks like they're cleaning that up uh, to make sure that they fit together. And then in the background, is that a welder? I think that, is, yep, that guy looks like he's welding and it's just hidden by the uh, black pipe in front of us. So pretty cool that we were still able to catch that. This job is harder than you think it is. Like getting all of these angles and I'd say flanges, but that's not really what they're doing there. Um, so that these pipes exactly fit together at exactly the right angles. Massive props to the guys out there doing that work and making all that complicated piping fit together. Over at the pad one sort of intake area, you can see they're getting some locks there. There's those caps. You see the rusty parts? Yeah. Yeah, you install those rusty parts, then you don't paint them for like 13 minutes and they end up uh, rusty like that. That's that's what happens when you don't. You leave something out for one night here on the beach and that's how it ends up looking. But I'm sure they'll get it cleaned up and they'll get it painted so it looks nice and SpaceXy black there. The work around the Pad 1 excavation has been continuing. We got that. It looks like they've claimed it with the flag blowing there but we've seen an awful lot of work around there y'all saw in the last video those pieces of the upside down shower head sort of coming out right of the ground as they were sort of cutting them up and then tearing them apart uh, to just get them out of the way because we're moving to a trench format we're not going to use that format anymore right so in any event continuing on with this massive excavation work over it pad i mean i guess that's how long it's, I don't know how long it's going to actually take them to do this, but they've been working on it for quite some time. Honestly, what would I know? I'm never at Starbase. Anyways, zooming in over on the pad as well, the tower, you can see like they're doing an awful lot of work here around the base. It just looks like it's battle damaged. They've got that air separation unit work happening as well. We've seen them fix the concrete. Still have a lot of a exposed rebar there. we got the big motors in blue, as we zoom in a little bit, connected to those massive concrete know, pylons, mounts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then the big turbo-looking pump things that they're going to run to I guess, separate at various compression levels the atmosphere into its constituent components. Right? Looking over at pad 2, you can tell because of the, the slopey bit in front of it. The chopsticks here looking quite nice. Not a lot of rusty bits sticking off of these. But uh, let's see, what are we doing in here? We got a lift up. We've got some shielding. So maybe that's a welding or a FOD sort of thing. Sometimes you don't want your welding gas to blow away. Oh, he's got on a he's got on a helmet. So it looked like that might have been some welding happening behind there. You, a lot of this welding uses uh, shielding gas, right? And the welders can correct me, but I know. So there's Pad 2 ship QD arm. Uh, I know that when you're using that shielding gas and the wind is blowing too hard, sometimes you, you don't get a good uh, bead is probably the right way to say it. If the wind is blowing your shielding gas away, then you don't get good adhesion is the wrong word. But you put up those sort of wind breaks so that you have a better controlled wind environment there where you're trying to uh, spew that little shielding gas out the end. Now, if that has nothing to do with what's happening on the tower, let me know. I'm happy to learn. But I, my understanding is 90% of the time when you see those sheets, that's what's going on. Got some commissioning work here happening as well. Big old pumps. Well, I guess technically those are the motors that stick up and the pumps are down below and then you can see the emergency close things in red. The emergency close things. Yes, welcome to our non-technical Starbase summary. We're going to zoom in on the things. Hey, is that some frost? 
That is some frost in the background. Look, do you see what this image illustrates? Go back and look. You see the frost down on the bottom? There's the red thing, the, the emergency sort of valve thing, and then there's that little standoff that it has, and at the bottom of that there was frost. The reason it's got the standoff and it keeps the moving components like up away from everything is you don't want that frost or ice to freeze up the valve, the moving parts, right? Um, or I guess the motor parts, that sort of stuff. Clearly there has to be some moving stuff in there. There's that Ship 39 Raceway. It's on the crane, and it was being stuffed into Mega Bay 2, it looks like. There's some miscellaneous Giga Bay construction. A truck coming out of the Giga Bay there. I don't know if that's still an oversized load, buddy. It looks like an undersized load now. That's like a deadhead on the way out of there. I guess you could have taken the banner off the front of your truck. But whatever, you're probably going back to the steel yard and uh, getting another one of those. By the way, driving into Starbase, I have a feeling a lot of this steel, yeah, mobile, a lot of the steel is being staged at the, oh gosh, what did the sign say? The Gigalot? I think there's a sign on the side of the road that says Gigalot. And that's the, yeah, okay, that's a spam call. We're just going to delete that and keep doing the video. Uh, I, think, <laughs> I think it gets put over at the Gigalot and then brought in like a short distance to the final, there's a staging area in any event. We've got a worker here, actually two workers. I stayed on this, clearly I'm at Starbase right now, right? Um, I hung out on the side of the road and I watched, I was working on the cameras, cleaning stuff up, um, looking at wiring and that sort of stuff, scooting things around, get a little bit better view. But uh, I saw these folks working up here. I, when we zoom in, it's really tough to see exactly how they're in this position. They're just shimmied up these beams. And we're like zoomed in here, but this dude's like three stories off the ground or something. I don't know in this shot exactly, but it's just sometimes if we zoom out, they're so small you don't see them. And if we zoom in, you don't get the context as, as to how far off the ground they're actually working and how there's just no, they're just not on anything other than big steel beams. It's not like they're on a nice little work platform or whatever, you know. There's those shiny tiles we see on the ship. I mentioned that in the last video. Just looking into Mega Bay 2, we were graced with quite a few hours, actually, of the doors being opened. I didn't really see anything going in and out of the doors, but even here is where the sun sort of goes down and we get that nice lighting inside. Um, I think we will hopefully see some flaps getting installed sooner rather than later. You can see there's not looking like there was uh, flaps down there on the bottom in the previous image. And here, uh, it's i got to squint down. I'm pretty sure they're not up there either, but somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Looking in the Star Factory, there is Ship 40's nose cone with a bunch of work around it. Similarly scaffolded. Past tense of scaffolded. Scaffold? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, is ship 42. There's Ship 45. Significantly less Cisco fungus around it in the factory. Over there by good old 11V and by 11W, <laughs> ship 43's nose cone. They're not slowing down. They're just putting these things in the line and getting them ready to go. Ship 46 is just going to keep going. They call it the parade of nose cones sometimes. I mean, literally, you drive past this massive building, and you at night you look into those windows, and you're like, nose cone, nose cone, nose cone, nose cone. It's just nuts. This view is from back past Rio West, it looks like. This is on Highway 4 all the way back there. And uh, just showing the entire stuff. You see prod site and the launch site and that Rio West development. Get a shot from Massey's as well. They've been doing some testing over at Massey's. When I drove by earlier today, the road was actually closed. I think I need to go check in. They were doing a cryo test on one of those tanks or another. There's that service, service structure once again with some birds circling in the background. 39.1 test tank. One of these got hooked up. We'll see if it's in the video. I saw it the other day. One of them got hooked up. I think it was like yesterday or earlier today. And then B18.1 and 18.3 test tanks. I'm in the Starbase time dilation field. Like when you enter the time dilation field around Starbase, you start to sort of lose track of time. Um, all clocks become aspirational, <laughs> right? So I'm out here to uh, do some work, take some measurements, and, and get some stuff so we can place some orders for some upgrades on parts to, to go through the winter time here. And uh, in any event, I am well within the time violation field. I'm pretty sure it's the Wednesday today. I don't know. Anyways, Massey's coming to life over here. Caesar getting us some shots. Is that a man? See, I'm looking at the top of that. And I want to believe there's like frost on that tank. 
I don't know. Is it my just mind playing tricks on me? Y'all can correct me down below. I think I'm going to tap Caesar on the shoulder and be like, hey, dude, make sure your camera's in manual focus. Like, lock the focus in. <laughs> I saw a couple hunting events here in this video where, where the focus hunted or went for a car in the foreground or something like that. That's all good. I'm here in person. I can just go tap Caesar on the shoulder and be like, hey, I'm going to sneak up behind him when he's on the side of the road filming. So from our Starbase live cameras, there's the deluge tank leaving Starbase, actually, headed out to the port. We saw a road closure for that thing. I think we saw a road closure for that one. And uh, saw it getting out of Dodge. But in any event, folks, appreciate you hanging out with me. And I'm, my name is John. I'm over here working at Starbase. Thanks to the team in the field, Colleen and Caesar. Anthony, you got a couple shots in there as well. And also the Starbase live operators. We appreciate you all hanging out. You can tell I'm doing this one on the fly, and I've been working hard all day. But as always, appreciate you being here, and we will see you nerds later.